Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, guys. Today we are going to be wrapping up and preserving our braid out. Woohoo! Yep, yep. So please keep watching. All right, guys. So you're going to get your chiffon or polyester scarf. You're going to fold it hot dog style and you're going to put it on your head. So this is important because it just secures the style that you have in the way that you have it. So if it's a middle part, it'll secure that. If it's a side part, it'll secure that. And you're going to place that and make sure to tuck your hair into the scarf and behind your ears or whatever style you have, you know, adjust it. And then you're going to tie it in the back like little bunny ears. And so I typically just do one knot here. Um, you don't really need to make it super tight unless that's just your personal preference. He, I don't because one, I don't want like a crease just in case. And um, I don't want my head to hurt. Like I want to let my hair breathe a little bit. And, you know, I also want it to puff up a little bit too. So that's just also personal preference. But yeah, no, no need to make this super tight. And so now you're going to do one more knot on the top of your head and you're going to tuck those last two pieces into the sides and like try to make it blend in so it's not like sticking out. And it kind of looks kind of cute. Like, mm hmm. OK, guys, and so that was me putting my hair up for the gym because I sweat a lot, like a lot. And before it would just look a mess because I'll put it in a ponytail. So this just keeps it in the position you like. You can put it in a pineapple, you can put your hair in a side part and then put this down on. You can do anything, but make sure it is this material. I think this is like a satin chiffon. I'll put the material in the description box, but it's a different type of material where it doesn't soak the water, it just gets wet. So like you're still gonna like sweat and your hair is still going to get wet. So if you do have like shrinkage, you need to make sure you get a ponytail and don't tightly tie it, but just secure that hair in place so that it can dry all together. Um, and so, yeah, let me show you guys what I'm wearing. This is a Adidas t-shirt from Dick's Sporting Good, I think. And then we have our Gymshark leggings. Hopefully y'all can see it. I think these are the Vital Seamless. Um, but I will link it. It is 623, 624 now. I'm about to try to get it in. I'm trying to get a good 30 minute workout in. Let's go, please. <sighs> yeah, so no pre-workout. Um, I used to drink pre-workout a lot back in the day, like a year ago, literally like maybe three months ago, but I stopped. Uh, if you have any questions, just put in the description. I'll be sure to answer it. This was a, not even a day old braid out. I took the braids out this morning. So it's fresh. Like if you couldn't tell, it was fresh. So the gym kind of like adds that frizz, that texture, that poofiness that I like for day two and three, four and five, be ugly. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get it in and I'll show you all the after. okay and we're back fresh out the shower buttered up looking good your hair should be kind of dry-ish at this point if this is at work before work you should like get dressed and do your makeup and stuff before take it off fluff it out shake it out mess with it have fun with it and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and please comment for more Mwah.